Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Anorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today, I'm going to be showing you how you can shoot with no light modifiers at all. We're just going to use hard light and using something called a subtraction panel and a flag. We're going to control that hard light to get some really contrasty, amazing portraits. We have a fantastic model, Roxanne, come on out. She is going to be posing for me today. She's going to look sort of like a ninja. And then also we have Nicholas. He's going to be holding the flag and uh, he has helped us in a past episode. I think you've already seen that. So thanks for helping me out today, Nicholas. So let's get to it. Let me first show you the lighting setup and then we'll take some fantastic portraits of Roxanne. This lighting setup uses two lights and they don't have any modifiers, which means we're going to have really hard light, but that's okay. You don't have to be afraid of hard light for portraits because you can control and shape that hard light using flags and subtraction panels. Well, what are those? Let me explain it to you. This is our key light. It's just a small pro photo head and it's going to illuminate our model from the side. What we want is high contrast. So instead of having this light bounce off the white walls and the white floor, we're using this. This is a black panel, which some people call a subtraction panel because it absorbs light and prevents that from being reflected, which means we're going to have high contrast. So this side is going to be very illuminated. This side is going to fall almost completely into darkness. The problem with that is you'll notice that our background here is the Savage Seamless Paper. It's totally black, which means our model, who has a very dark outfit, is going to blend completely in with that. And so we don't want that. So I've got this light right up here on a boom. That's going to provide some separation. In fact, I have that. It's going to be overexposed. She's going to be wearing a hood. And what that's going to do is create this sort of a silver lining around her head. Now, so we're going to have Roxanne come out here just so I can show you how this works. And then we'll get to what flags are. So as Roxanne is in this sort of little cocoon of light, We've got this light that's going to be illuminating her head. We've got light coming from this side. She's going to be able to either move toward the light or away from the light to get different looks. The problem is this light here is going to be illuminating not only her head, but it's going to be coming straight into our lens. And what that does is it's going to give me lens flare and lower the contrast. I don't want that. We need something called a flag. A flag is something that separates and prevents the light from falling on your camera's lens. You can use just about anything, a newspaper, whatever, even cardboard, or you can buy an actual flag, or you can use a five-in-one reflector if you want. So Nicholas is going to come out. We're going to use a five-in-one. We're actually using the black side of this five-in-one reflector to absorb that light. And what he's going to do is he's going to make sure he positions this in a uh, position where that separation light can still fall on the hood of uh, Roxanne's head, but prevent it from falling on the lens of my camera and that's going to prevent me from getting lens flare and getting all this weird washout, which I don't want. Now, there's one other thing I need to make sure that I don't do. When I'm shooting, I don't want to shoot too high because if I do, so Nicholas, you can put that down for just a second. On this uh, background right here, I don't want this white floor in the picture. So if I shoot at eye level, I'm going to get this white floor. And so to prevent that, when I shoot over here, I'm going to actually crouch down and shoot this way. But I keep doing that, but I like the picture so much, I keep standing up and standing up. And so I'm going to solve that problem by just sitting in a chair. So I'll make sure that I keep my camera angle low. I'll sit in the chair. We're going to get this amazing portrait. We're going to take some shots and show you exactly how this looks.
Well, as you can see, using subtraction panels and flags, you can control that hard light and get some really amazing photos. Thank you so much, Roxanne, for being here today. Don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center. There are all kinds of articles and videos about shaping light and working in a studio like we did today. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free, and that way you don't miss anything. So do it right now. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you again next time.